So when you look at these two pictures, what comes in mind? Just look at it briefly. I'll come back to it. <laughs> Good. So back in the day, um, for those of you who uh, grew up in Kweu, in the eastern region, the gentleman here. <laughs> so we, kids used to play around a lot. So just from school, what you have to do is um, you go to the backyard, and we make funny, funny things. Uh, this is called Congo car. And there was this popular toffee called hacks. Hacks. So we used to make um, chains and belts and funny, funny things from hacks. Those days, we thought we were just messing up. We thought we were just wasting time or hauling away time, so we'd go and watch our favorite cantata and sleep. But funny enough, I was on the side where, just from school, when I joined my friends to make this, my father would look for me with, with big canes. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you all right? I sent you to school, go and study. His English was not that, that good like the way I'm saying it now, but. <laughs> are you all right? Come on, go and read. Dad, I'm done reading. Okay, go and do your homework. I'm done with my homework. Okay, go and sleep. Because I didn't like football. So anyways, this is what I was so much interested in these kind of stuff. And a lot of people were also interested in this kind of stuff. But unfortunately, all these dreams were cut off because you have to go and read your books. You have to go and do that. Time is fast spent, so let me also move ahead. Now, a few years ago in the university, I started a business out of hardship. For those of you who have, who, who have got a chance to um, listen to my interviews on Al Jazeera and I think DW and the others, um, you would appreciate from where I'm coming from, but because of time, I wouldn't go, go into that. So, a few years ago, I was into interior decor, just painting of rooms, wallpaper. Um, if your bed is not well laid, I'll come and lay it for you, so I just get some 20 CDs or 30 CDs for food, you know, that kind of little, little stuff. Then my work grew out of campus eventually, so a client wanted a center table. We were roaming the street of Accra to get a center table. We were not successful. So he was coming to drop me back on campus. When we got to Jowulu, there was a tie burning incident. No, it was not an incident. It was a tie burning site. They, they, had, they had packed close to, by eye count, about 70 to 80 car ties. And they had set fire in them. The, the black smoke that was emanating from the tie had crowded almost the whole place. Now, this is just about three or four ties. Look at the smoke. Now, imagine about 70 ties. And there was huge traffic. Fortunately for us, we were, we were in a car that there was an air conditioning, so the guy just rode up, and I was enjoying the air conditioning a little, but I could still smell the, 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 the whole thing. But unfortunately, those in Chotro were just coughing, and the people who were in the act of burning were okay. <laughs> it's like they were even directing the whole fire so that, <laughs> oh man, it was fascinating. So that was when, I looked at the incident and then I told the guy, he's um, Akwesi Cypro, I've forgotten the name, but he's the CEO of my story magazine now. So I told Akwesi, do you know I can make a table out of this cartel for you? It was out of joke. And he was like, oh, Masa. Masa means master, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sort of. So he just brushed it off. I brushed it off too. So we drove, but I think just a minute after he packed and was like, okay, were you serious about what you said with the, with the cartel? He was thinking. I wasn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, yes. I, 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 was, I, I mean, I was serious because I mean, when opportunity comes, I grab it. So, oh, yeah, are you sure? So, yes. Okay. So, I'm driving you there. You're going to pick one of the ties. You take it to campus in Commonwealth Hall. How many of you know Commonwealth Hall, University of Ghana? <laughs> Sharp. So, in Commonwealth Hall and make the tie in four days. If it's good, I'll buy it. I took the tie to, to the room on campus and I had no idea what I was doing. I just washed the car tie first, you know, bought some glass and put it on it. The first day, I sat down. The next day, I realized, okay, I need to raise it up a bit. So I bought furniture legs and placed them and died. And I realized, okay, let me give some touch. So I sprayed it and, and then went to give it to him. The product that I made, it wasn't okay for me. But the guy was so, wow, what is this? Make two extra. So, okay. Then I made it for him. I, 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 I added it as part of my business that 
any product at all that I eh, sorry, any, any client at all that I make that, okay, I'm making your room nice or stuff, I'll just make one table as a freebie. So you take it. Then I, I will explain to you, so I used to take these pictures. I will explain to you where I got a car tie from. The problem that the car tie is, it's, I mean, like the burning of it is causing, and then how you should appreciate it. Then one lady sat me down and said, okay, I should get serious with the car tie and stop this, my painting, painting, whatever thing. So I took the opportunity. I started making tables. So um, I used to talk to um, the organizers that, okay, why do you bend the ties? And they tell you, oh, this tie, if we bend it, we get about 50 pesos. That's the average tie, the four by four tie. We get about 50 pesos. If you send it in dollars, you regret. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that is fine. Now, I don't want you to bend the ties. Keep them, because I don't have enough place to keep them. My room in Komoto is very small. So you keep them. When I need them to make the product, I'll come and pay you. And hey, master, then this one, we are going to charge you. Also, okay, that's fine. So I used to give them two CDs, three CDs sometimes for just one tie that they'll get 50, 50 pesos from. They were getting the 50 pesos from the small metals that after you finish bending the tie, what do you get from it? Now let me move forward. So this is me, so happy when I see ties, actually. <laughs> and then these are some of the organizers. So these are, that's my room, where it all started from. That's the first, uh, no, this I think the third product I was making. Now I realized that I need not paint it or spray it because it wasn't sustainable. In a few months, then it starts tearing up and then it looked nasty and it's even worse than what I even found. So, so I decided to, okay, okay, so this is the whole process. Let me just move forward. Now, car ties are built to withstand a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. So that they don't cause accident. So if this product is being made and it ends up like this, you, sh you should imagine the number of years it will take to decay. I will not go to that. So these are some of the products that I have been able to do together with my team. Thank you so much. These are some of the products that the, the mid, okay. There are tables. <laughs> yeah, let me move forward. Now, forward. The best example that you can give to the child, I always say, the best thing you can ever give to a child is an example. Example is the best. As an example, all the theory wouldn't work. Nothing. So my goal is that we should be able to change the mindset of, 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 of the young people right from scratch. The media plays a role. I mean, the educational system plays a role. I, I doubt there's any, any course in the university on upcycling or recycling. It, it's, it's, it's fascinating. So the biggest example we can, the biggest gift you can give to the youth is an example, and that is what I'm trying to do. Now, this picture was shot in a sheet. You see how okay he is. <laughs> he, 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 he was even so comfortable for them to take the picture because this is his hustle. Now, this is, this is a quote by T.T. Williams. And T.T. Williams says that the eyes of the future are looking back at us. And they are praying for us to see beyond our own time. They are kneeling with hands clasped that we might act with restraint, that we might leave room for the life that is destined to come. You might think two or three bending of car ties, two or three... Um, car ties in a gutter that is blocking the drainage system so that it will cause flood, or the ties that are being thrown into the seas and animals and stuff are being affected, you might think that one is no problem. Funny enough, some people even think that we those preaching um, climate action, climate change, whatever SDG, whatever thing, we are living in some sort of fantasy world. But that is not, it is reality. It's, it's, it's afternoon in Ghana on, on a normal day, this white shirt should be okay. But if I'm walking in this hot afternoon. <laughs> so now, what do you see? Art. Art. Beauty. There's beauty in waste. So, with the young company that I've created, I call it Ripple's Interior Decor. But now it is Ripple's Decor and Design, because it's no more just interior. So it's Ripple's Decor and Design. We coin waste as the new gold. We don't even call it waste, waste. It's called waste resource. After the conference, thank you. All the pieces, um, all, all the cups that you see, I'll pick them to my place and make something with it. Because to me, it's a resource that I wouldn't buy, but I will use, use it to do something good to save the environment. We can all do it. We can all try it. Simple, simple, simple little things. 
Oh, it's done. So, my name is Jeffrey Kwabnayabwa.